Yeah, it was a great race. So much variety of the race. Yeah, yeah, really tough first day and a half, but then it was so quiet it was tough in other ways. Yeah, so plenty of sail changes, plenty of activity, plenty of water across the deck. Yeah, there's a lot of variables. It was um, oh, the first two days were pretty, pretty tough. Um, I think we steered off, both of us steered the whole time. Couldn't use the autopilot because we couldn't handle it. Um, it's just really long stints of steering for like, today we steered from our side of shootings all the way home. And on that first night when you said didn't hold, it just won't hold course in those conditions? The, uh, the really interesting sea state, there was no backs on the waves, so you just come out and just slam, we thought we were going to break the boat in half, and the pilot wouldn't know what to do there, so we steered on and off. Wasn't, yeah. wasn't that windy, it was only sort of 35, I suppose we saw yeah, who knows, in a bit few of the squalls, but it wasn't that windy, but um, gee, it was rough. Yeah, you fall off the back of the waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. really bouncy. But that's it's a pretty robust boat. This is Conrad Coleman's old boat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gee, we haven't done nearly as much as what Conrad's done with it. No, we've, we've had too much fun. Yeah. Well, you must feel pretty proud, though, you know, first two-hander in, uh, into Hobart and the home territory as well. Oh, to be for the, yeah, the CYC and the Royal Hobart Yacht, Yacht Club to absorb two-handed racing like this, it's fantastic. I mean, you obviously see so much of it over in Europe, but to see it catch on so much in Australia is great. Did you get a feel for that as the race unfolded? I mean, you would have a good fleet there and you would have seen each other. Yeah, we've done a lot of cruising together, just helping move Rob's family boat around. So, um, so we sort of got a bit of a pattern going on, but um, so did get a bit tense with the racing side of it. But um, I don't know. I think I think we still get on. Still get on better, better than ever. <laughs> and Rob, you're a you're a moth and a windsurf uh, champion, yeah. I believe. So, what do you bring to this? Uh, I, I get on the tiller when it gets really light. So. <laughs> I didn't do too well coming into Tasman. I, did, I made a bit of an error on the ley line, but I got us out of Tasman really, oh, I thought it was okay. And, and that was a real gate for us. It was gonna shut down, it was inevitable. And we got in, we just snuck into the start of the sea breeze. And then once we get bowling along, then my job's done. So I'm the light weather skipper. With, with, with this type of race where obviously um, sleep management is a, is a critical part. I mean, you can have a plan, but I guess plans can change. Yes. How did that management uh, go? Uh, John says, Rob, um, are you awake? I need you. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be the same for him. So yeah. we just sort of sleep just there with all that gear on. Like we don't, you don't go to bed or, you know, it's just in there just t trying to catch 20 minutes or something when Does you can. Uh, sometimes when it's really rough, just on the corner there, or just down on sail bag. But we talked a bit about that today, the, um, the sleep, yeah, I, probably two or three hours a day, I guess, and then the rest was little cat naps. And this is a real evolution because, in fact, it's a Lombard as well, so it's a sort of original of basically what Rupert Henry's got there, is that right? Yeah, there was, I think there's 10 years difference between the designs. And it was a real shame because, Rupert, we had a good little tussle going out through the heads at the start. That was, that was heaps of fun. And then, uh, and then we didn't, he cleared out on us and then we heard the next day that he'd retired, so that was a real shame we didn't get to race against him, but maybe next time. Maybe we have to find another race to do. <laughs> Forgotten all about the first couple of days, haven't we? Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to do this uh, event again, two-handed? Oh, I'm getting old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just year by year. We'll see how it goes. But it's fantastic that it's now on the calendar for Australian <laughs> racing. It's so so prominent in Europe. It's time it came here. It's fantastic. What was the reason for buying this boat in the first place? Ooh. I can answer that one. Yeah. Um, well, we we have. Always wanted to do um, the two a two-handed Sydney to Hobart. If there ever, we always wanted to do the first one, and so we lined up last year, and obviously didn't go ahead. And so then we right, we're going to turn up to this one, and we wanted a boat that we knew we could, you know, we could survive those kind of conditions that we had on the first night or two. Um, it's a very powerful boat; it'll like bite you badly if you don't get it right. But um, it's it's so much fun. Yeah, we came up, we came across Storm Bay doing 16 knots today, and it was only 18 knots sea breeze. Wow. Yeah. Can, can you guys remember the, the moment you met each other and obviously there must be some chemistry that later when you decided to crew in two-handed that you guys would make the right mix. Can you remember? We've done a lot of cruising. So I think John, we, we did a trip across to New Zealand just cruising with uh, Ken Gourlay. Um, about 2015, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, was it? Yeah. So that's where we really started doing yeah. a lot of sailing again. And then we did a lot of the deliveries um, two-handed, and then my family came in for the trip, you know, around Tonga and trying to fly home. Yeah. Then he'd fly in and do the next delivery. 
So I, bu- I bought one of his old moths. Now that was oh. a stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Kept having to strap my shoulder and my wrist and my this and my that. <laughs> Heaps of fun though. <laughs> who, who put the call in to, you know, with the idea about doing it? Constant evolution. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we, we talk quite regularly and yeah, um, yeah. just this seemed like a great, fun, challenge, crazy idea. One of the uh, challenges of two handing, apart from just sleep deprivation and everything else, is manoeuvres and so on. So how easy is this one to do? Do you have to do a lot of prep before you get a manoeuvre set and put the helm on and order helm on and things? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. no Jiving is the, is the trickiest because you've got to do the runners and you've got to get, and it's a really big main, um, and that's the trickiest one. And then often you've got a spinnaker that you're trying to deal with and, and it loads up really quite quickly. So quite a lot of setup time. A lot of, like, you're trying to think ahead and, and look at what's going, going on before you actually do the manoeuvre, otherwise you might have a rope wrong side and the, the error just spirals, as you know. I'm sorry, that was a complicated question for 12 hours sleep and four days. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you could have wrung out of this boat on the way down? Beer. We didn't have any beer. We really sadly should have taken some more for some beer. <laughs> All right, and now serious answer. Could you have gotten anything else out of this boat? Oh, we were a bit conservative when it was rough, but then that was smart. It was proven by the guys that, that, that couldn't finish. Um, we... Um, yeah, no, we we sort of got to people manage a little bit. A couple of injuries on board, you know, a couple of a couple of things weren't working so well because it was so rough and so hard on the bodies. So, um, so uh, we just had to manage ourselves. Yeah. What were the injuries? Oof. Where do you start? Oh, <laughs> I might I might have a bit of a rib fracture issue. <laughs> so I spent a lot of the time. Um, in just doing all the steering and, and in the cockpit on the pit there. And John did all the sail moves, all the changes. He's done a power work. I was work. reminded of my youth. <laughs> did you get injured? Oh, I just, um, I don't know how I did it, but I buggered my good shoulder, not my bad one. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's evened out. Do you know a good doctor, John Goffey? No. Nah. Yeah, I don't know. But you should be able to lift your arms over your head, shouldn't you? <laughs> But oh, well, you don't need to do it much for sailing, so that's okay. He gave me some painkillers after about two days, finally. So the next Hobart's are way away yet. What else would you be doing with the boat? Oh, we haven't really thought. No, <laughs> one race at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> Beer can <laughs> racing. You're, you're Get out with the family. We should just stay here. I mean, where, where does she normally stay? Yeah, here yeah. in Hobart. Yeah. 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 There's some good races in New Zealand. That'll be fun. Yeah. Those guys know how to light it up. Yeah. <laughs>